Hello everyone, it's Friday and that means another Friday new product post with new products and a couple of demos. So let's see what we have for this week. So we have a couple new rotary encoders this week. Um, you might remember that we have another illuminated rotary encoder on the website, but it's only a red and a green. Well, these are full red, green, blue or RGB encoders. And rotary encoders, if you're not familiar with them, they're not potentiometers. I think I've explained this before, but they spin continuously around like that and they output what's called gray code, which is basically a series of these pulses and they're offset, and by measuring the offset and the pulses that come out of it, you can tell how many clicks they're going forward or how many clicks they're going backward. So they're really nice for incrementing or decrementing values or you know precision, stuff like that, or even spinning them really fast to jog a CNC around, stuff like that. So we have these two new ones, and both of them are fully illuminated along the shaft, and it is an RGB, so you can blend those to be any color you want. They have a push button click on each of them, and we have this right angle that would mount to a PCB like that and stick through, and the shaft would come out, and you'd put the knob on there. And then we have this other one, which is a straight shaft, and it has a thread on the shaft, so you can actually do it panel mount with the included nut and washer. And we also have a little demo of this, so let's take a look and see what it looks like lit up. This is just some um, basic code that's just turning on the LEDs. And as we rotate this knob, it changes the color. And we press it, and it changes the color. So pretty basic stuff here. Um, but these are good for, let's say you have um, volume on your stereo, and as you're turning the volume up, you could have the LED change from green to red, indicating you're starting to get really loud. Um, you can also have it, when they press, you change to a different color to indicate a different function. Um, since it's not a potentiometer, it, you, know, you can read this into code, and you can read this in the software, so you could press it for volume press it for track skip or you know whatever so you could have it to where different colors can indicate different states so these things are pretty versatile and a really great input device here we've got the rfm 22 shield this shield uses the pretty popular and pretty versatile rfm 22 wireless module we sell the module alone and we also sell it on a little breakout board but this is the first time that we've actually had it on a shield and it's just a really inexpensive general purpose wireless module that allows you to talk between two different microcontrollers or, in this case, attach these as shields and talk between two different Arduinos. As you can see, we've got it mounted here. We've got some other stuff mounted, reset pin broken out, little proto area. And we've also got each one of the SPI pins broken out so you can actually use them on a different pin and jumper them separately if you want. And like I just said, this does operate over SPI, so using the RFM22 library that you can find on this product page, you can easily do mesh networking, peer-to-peer -peer networking, or anything else. It's really versatile, and with the example code and the library, it is real easy for anyone to use. We've got a basic demo set up here. What we have is we have two of these shields connected to two different Arduinos, and we've just got a basic length of wire. Um, the beauty about these is really all you need is just a length of wire for your antenna. Um, on one of them, we have a button, and on the other one, we've got an LED. And we're just using the basic example code that when you press a button, the LED turns on. So let's hook it up and see what we got. Just gonna plug that one in and plug this one in. And they do have a bit of um, ID attached to them. This one has, you know, a specific ID that is talking to the specific ID of this. So these two are, uh, you know, mated or paired in some way. So it makes it really easy to communicate. So if we press this, you can see LED turns on. And is that simple to create just a basic wireless communication between two different Arduinos. So if you're looking for something inexpensive and easy, check out the RFM22. So there you go, a little bit of a light version of the new product post, um, but we do have some pretty cool products. The RFM22 Shield is gonna make some people very happy, and I'm sure there's gonna be some great uses for the illuminated rotary encoders. Um, we do have a lot of um, clearance stuff on the new product post this week. We're clearing out a lot of old um, production stocks. We have a ton of old ICs and a ton of, you know, still very useful stuff on there. So definitely make sure to check out the whole new product post, and we'll see you again next week with more products.